Yo guys, what is going on? Blossom is back and welcome back to their episode of Top Drives. Now, PL16, the next update, which is I think World Expo Road Trip or something like that, is just around the corner. If I had to give an educated guess, I think that we'll be seeing this new update within 24 hours or just a little over 24 hours. The reason for this being the pesto, yes I'm calling it the pesto, on purpose, with a P. Uh, uh, the, the pesto elemental finals is ending this, like, tonight, right? So, I'm really hoping that, you know, there has to be a reason why Hodge decided to decrease the time of a tri series and i do believe that is to accommodate the update this month or this month this week so i'm really looking forward to this new update we've already seen a lot of cars that has been teased with that amazing you know porsche 919 hybrid that was teased about two days ago obviously i showcased the uh, i think it was the m8 competition as well as a pagani which is really cool as well as a whole host of other cars but today i want to show you what i think are going to be what is going to be my PL16 wish list of cars that we've not seen teased yet. Um, you think that there are a lot of cars in top drives, but you know, you might be surprised. There's still a lot of cars that are still not in the game. And this is a game that almost has 3,000 different cars and like 1,000 different Subarus. But without further ado, man, I want to show you my wish list along with some of the other cars that my patrons are looking forward to in the coming update. So I'm going to turn off my camera and let us begin. So let me turn off my webcam right here. Alright, so, the first one that I want to talk about is, of course, the M3 Estate, bro. Like, this is the car that I have been looking forward to since its release. This is my favorite car of 2022, and it just makes it even cooler that you can get this car in manual. And it really surprises me that BMW has, has done this, that they've made this along with the M3 Saloon, as, as, along with the M4. Like, they're making what a car should actually be, not electric bullshit. This is a real car. You can still get it in manual. Manual, and that's a straight six and it produces over 500 horsepower very similar to the m3 saloon i am genuinely looking forward to the m3 estate my favorite car of 2022 i said that when the car released that this is going to be my favorite car of the year no matter what porsche releases no matter what aston martin releases no matter what dodge releases i don't care um bmw isn't even up there in my top four brands i do not care this is my favorite car of 2022 i've already had my friend design carbon fiber packs you know, you know how I have special carbon fiber packs for my thumbnails, right? With the Aston Martin DBS, the Superleggera, and the Dodge Charger, right? I already have packs custom designed for my videos with the M3 Estate on it. So I will look like a fool if this car doesn't come in PL16. I absolutely love the M3 Estate. Now, the stats at the bottom, these are my predictions. Um, if you take the delimiter away from the M3 Estate, it is said that it can hit about 100 70 to 175 miles per hour it has a 0 to 60 of 3.6 seconds and i'm going to assume that it's going to get a handling score of 87 87 or 88 somewhere along that mark um is going to be fantastic for an estate one of the best estates in the game if it does come to the game i'm really really hoping that the m3 estate comes dude i, I love this car to death and again um i i love the grill i know a lot of people will disagree with me i love the grill i always have and i always will if there are always two hot takes in the car design world it would be me loving the bmw grill the new one i don't even see like i'm not even that big of a fan of a bmw to even know what like generation of bmw i think it's like g80 i don't know bro but i love the grill okay that and the Porsche Friday headlights. Those two things I would love forever. All right, the next car, which I'm really looking forward to, is the Alfa Romeo Giulia GTA. We've seen a lot of like crappy Alphas been released uh, or teased, as in like super rares and like there was there was one epic, but like mostly super rares and rares and commons, blah blah blah. Um, but really, what I'm looking forward to is the Giulia GTA. I do believe that these are the stats that it's gonna have: a top speed of 186 miles per hour, 3.6 for a zero to 60, and 89 handling, just slightly better than the Giulia Veloce. Um, this car is sexy. Absolutely sexy. Um, I love how it looks. I love how it sounds. I mean, it is an Alfa Romeo and it's just a really beautiful car. I'm really hoping that it'll come to the game and I wouldn't be surprised if this was actually a prize car. Uh, now, the next car on my wish list is, of course, the Porsche 992 GT3 RS. Um, I believe that it will have a stat or it, it will have these stats of 200 miles per hour for a top speed. 2.70 to 60 and 93 handling. Now, why I think 93 handling is this? Um, the, the peak 
for a performance tire rear wheel drive car in top drives right now that isn't a price car is 94 and i think only three cars hold that currently the viper acr the gumper i think it's like the apollo or whatever it is um as well as the pagani tricolor which we you know which is coming in pl16 um i wouldn't be surprised if the porsche 992 gt3 rs also has 94 but i just feel like 93 I gave it 93 as an assumption, mainly because I want to keep 94 as an exclusive number, and also because I know that Porsche is going to release the 992 generation of the GT2, which is definitely going to handle better. Now, I think that the 992 GT2 is going to have a stock handling of 94, but I might be wrong. I can see a world where the 992 GT3, because obviously Porsche is always increasing uh, and always improving, the Porsche 992 GT3 RS might be 94 stock, and the 992 GT2 RS that comes out later might be 95 stock which is like the new like you know high score i guess for a real drive performance tire non-price car i can see that happening as well just because the gt2 is the track king after all um but yeah i'm really looking forward to this i really hope this comes into the game the 996 version of the gt3 rs is one of my favorite cars of all time so the 992 version like how it has that homage with the paint job uh with the red and the white absolutely love that i mean that's that's nostalgia bait and a half, but I absolutely love it. I, I really hope that it comes with the Porsche revamp. Uh, I do love this car. And the last car on my wish list before I get to the Patreon wish list is the BMW 3.0 CSL uh, G4 Group 4. Um, now the top speed of this car isn't high. I mean, honestly, I don't know much about the car. Um, there are two kinds of car nerds, right? There is the, the the car nerd that cares about the specs and the engine and all that kind of stuff, and then there's the car nerd that is always like design centric first. I'm, I'm the design kind of car nerd. I always love how a car looks and I've always loved how the CSL looks. So I don't know if it's true that the top speed of this car is only 138 miles per hour with a 0 to 60 of 6.7, but that is what multiple sources on Google told me, so I'm going to roll with it. I think that it's actually going to be a very big game changer, and I think it's going to end up being a price car, but I think it's going to be a very big game changer for like the super rare or maybe even the rare category because without a doubt this car can handle i think 86 87 stock i mean if we're getting an 87 stock handling car for like a rare or a super rare okay so super rare not that much of a of a mind-blowing situation because there are cars like the lotuses that already do that but if we're getting an 87 stock handling car for a rare that is going to be something else but it would make sense if it ends up being a price car you can only get one of these and yeah i absolutely love this car so those are the four top cars that i really want to see in pl16 and obviously this is an educated guess because obviously in pl16 we know that we're getting new bmws we know that we're getting new porsches we know that we're getting new alfa romeo so that's why i decided for my personal wish list to only include brands of cars that we've seen teased so far but now let us go to the patreon wish list all right so some pretty cool stuff here we're gonna start off with the aquila <laughs> i think i pronounced it correctly aquila or maybe aquila nah it's aquila it has to be right um sleepy wants to see this car but ironically sleepy didn't even know that this car existed until i asked the patreon server what cars they wanted to see um yeah i mean it's italian it's niche um, I feel like it's one of those, like, you know, like a, not, not really Di Tommaso, but it's kind of like one of those brands in top drives where there's only one or two cars, like W Motors, for example. So yeah, I can see Aquila being added to the game and they only have like one, two cars. Um, I'm pretty sure that only 130 of these cars were ever produced, but yeah, shout out to Sleepy, man. He wanted the Aquila. So, we're gonna put the Aquila in the video. Alright, next up on the list, uh, this one is from Sauber. Sauber is looking forward to the 159 Sport Wagon. Um, now, I don't think that this is an Alfa Romeo that actually has been teased by any content creator so far. Uh, I think there have been a bunch of hatchbacks, but not wagons. So, this would be cool. I do like myself estates, and I think that they're just a hundred times cooler than a, than a hatchback. So hopefully the 159 Sport Wagon will be added for Sauber. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good looking car. I mean, honestly, you can't go wrong with an estate. To me, if it's an estate, it's already like halfway to being a good looking car. Uh, next up on the list, uh, the Evo 2 DTM. Now this is a car that Liam definitely wants in the game, and this is a car that I definitely want in the game as well. You know me, guys. I absolutely love Mercedes. It is up there with the top brands, right? Aston Martin, Dodge, Porsche, Mercedes. I'm not saying that in order. Obviously, Dodge is number one and always will be, but I do love Mercedes. The only reason why this isn't a Mercedes-heavy video is we just had a... Honestly, 
The Mercedes revamp in PL15 was kind of disappointing. It wasn't very big. They only added like 20 new Mercs. Like I want them to add like 100. This is, we're talking about a brand with so much history and so much pedigree. Like Hudge could do so much more of Mercedes. But I haven't seen any new Mercedes revamps in PL16, at least from the stuff that's been teased. So I'm not going for a Mercedes heavy video, but hey, I'm all for it. If Mercedes get new brands uh, in PL16, I am all for it because I love this car, I love this brand, and I would love to see the EVO 2 DTM get added into the game. It would be another handling beast for sure, but shout out to Liam, he wants it, the EVO. Now the next car is going to be from Korn, he is looking forward to the BMW V12 LMR, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are probably looking forward to this. Um, to be completely honest, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of BMW, um, I do respect what they're going for right now though, um, and I never really watched a lot of motorsport besides NASCAR growing up, so I actually don't know much about the v12 lmr man um but i feel like a lot of players would probably want this in the game it's definitely going to be a prize car and i'm just going to call it the dell car i mean i'm i'm literally like recording from a dell monitor right now so shout out dell man but yeah also shout to corn he wanted the v12 he wanted a whole host of cars but i chose the v12 lmr to shout out uh next one uh shout out to jack flint he wants the v16 goldfish uh i'm gonna be honest man i want it too <laughs> uh i did not know that this car existed until he mentioned it to me and this car is just i love everything about it this is like if dodge took over bmw for a day uh literally this is a one of one only one of this exists and it was one of those cars where the manufacturer just kind of wanted to know if they could make it possible if they could fit a v16 in the 7 series and hell yeah they did uh, i'm pretty sure that it's it's so big that they have two radiators uh in the trunk of this car it's ridiculous i want this to be in the game as much as jack flint does um it fits perfectly you know to be a prize car obviously it's not gonna be a legendary but can you imagine the mra on this thing it's gonna be a dragster bmw like a 100 mra super air or something like that would be insane i would want this uh, obviously the germans call it goldfish or you know with a c uh but yeah in english is the v16 bmw goldfish i love everything about about this car i am so happy that jack flint actually brought this up in my server i didn't know this car existed before i always thought that the v12s in the 7 series were always super cool and the v12s in the mercedes s classes but v16 i i i that is that's beautiful man that is beautiful all right next up on the list lee he is looking for a Cezetta V16. Uh, in my opinion, it looks like a mutated Lamborghini Diablo or something like that. I, I don't know, dude, but he wants this in the game. Um, it definitely is a unique car for sure. Um, I really don't like the four pop-up headlights. I love pop-up headlights, don't get me wrong, but it just looks weird on this, man. But hey, you know what? Lee wants it. Hopefully it comes in the update. I mean, once again, much like the... Uh, the Aquila, it would be a very niche brand that only has a few cars, but you know what? Hutch likes to do that. All right, next up on the list, uh, we are looking at the 335i wagon uh, that Birdie wants. I mean, this is Birdie's car, so uh, he specifically wants it in black, and he specifically wants it from 2000 2007. Those were his words. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, Birdie, you get your wish. I mean, like I said earlier on of the Alpha, you cannot go wrong with an estate. Uh, you cannot go wrong with a wagon. Uh, they're absolutely beautiful cars. Medium ground clearance for sure. I really don't know if it's going to have performance tires or standard tires. I mean, Birdie, you can tell me. But shout out to Birdie, man. He wanted the 335i. And we are going to end off with one more um, quote-unquote car. Clarkson wants this. And of course Clarkson wants this. I mean, it's Italian. Yeah. He wants the Lamborghini tractor. He, he specifically wants Jeremy Clarkson's Lamborghini tractor. I mean, obviously, Clarkson would want that. But yeah, I mean, it would be interesting. I, I wouldn't put it past Hutch uh, to, to, to have them introduce this into the game. Uh, considering that now Hutch is adding armored cars like the Resvani tank, for example. Uh, and obviously that Fiat uh, that I, I forgot what the model name was called. But the Fiat that was leaked as well. Or not leaked, it was teased. I mean, that looks bulletproof too. Um, yeah, I mean, now that we're slowly adding bulletproof cars into the game. I wouldn't be surprised to see a uh, Clarkson's tractor being added or a Lamborghini tractor for 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 that logic uh and one day maybe the unimog as well uh for mercedes but anyway guys that's gonna be it that is going to be my wish list 
for PL16. I mean, it's around the corner. The update is around the corner. I cannot wait to see what the update brings. But from tractors to estates to mutated Diablos to absolutely chad BMWs, I am genuinely looking forward to what this update is going to bring. But anyway, guys, let me know down in the comments below what is on your PL16 wish list of cars that we have not seen yet teased for the upcoming update. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Remember, stay safe, wash your hands, and blossom out. Peace. Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies.